In this video, I'm gonna teach you a selling strategy of one of our Inner Circle members, and it is absolutely killer. It may be illegal, I'm not sure. We're gonna talk about some of the uh, implications of it. However, it absolutely crushes. Now, the person who utilizes the selling strategy is a female, and I can almost guarantee she does more business than 90%, probably 98% of everybody who watches these videos, but her closing percentage is probably twice as good as anybody else around, 80%. Now, if you guys don't know what your closing percentage is, check out Quote IQ. I'll leave a link in the comment section description. You wanna know your business analytics. You wanna know your sales numbers. You know how many leads you're bringing in every month. You wanna know where those leads are coming from, what services you're offering, as well as your close percentage so that way you can kind of adjust how much you're charging. And typically, if somebody's landing a super high amount of jobs, I would say they're probably not charging enough. However, her average ticket price is actually probably double, maybe triple what some of her local competition are because the last time that I talked to her, she told me that she was closing on average jobs about $1,200. And that all feeds into the things that she's doing in order to sell these jobs. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content, please hit the thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out and it really does help the channel out. As I mentioned before, if you guys wanna check out the Inner Circle, first link in the comment section description, get all the courses, get everything, get the mentorship, get the bi-week coaching calls with myself, Mike, Aaron, and Cody, and be a part of the biggest earners in the pressure washing industry. Secondly, we've teamed up with the Window Cleaning Resource to give away the ultimate window cleaning business starter kit next month to a premium or platinum subscriber of Quote IQ. So if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, check out Quote IQ linked in the comment section and the description of this video. With that being said, let's go ahead and, and get into the meat and potatoes of this video. There's two types of selling processes for pressure washing. Essentially, we have the in-person and then we have the over the phone. As you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, over the phone is particularly my favorite way to sell uh, for a couple different reasons. First and foremost, it's quick, right? So the inquiry comes in, I'm able to measure the property, send them an estimate, and I get a yes or no rather quickly. So you're not wasting a ton of time or speaking with people that are not very serious. You can pretty much pick out who's serious and who's not by when I send that price, what that response is. Now, the only time that we kind of break this rule and we do go in person is if it's a commercial property, if the job is over, let's say a couple thousand dollars, then we'll go out and meet in person and we'll take a little bit more time with the quoting process, build rapport with the customer, talk through our processes. But I've just found with regards to all the leads that I have coming in, mostly through Facebook and Google, it's really good to get these customers a price as quickly as possible. So that way they don't venture off and get a price from somebody else. However, the selling strategy that I'm gonna talk to you guys about in today's video is an in-person selling strategy and the benefits to in-person selling are first and foremost you get to build rapport with the customer you get to walk the property with the customer you get to develop a deeper relationship with somebody than i would be able to just through a few text messages and most importantly you get to upsell at the property so you get to lay eyes on things that are dirty uh other things you could potentially help them with and you get to kind of sell them on those services so Benefits to both, however, this strategy particularly revolves around selling in person. So the first sales hack that I wanna tell you guys about is typical businesses quote what the customer asks them, right? So, so the customer will call in and they'll say, hey, you know, I need a quote on a house wash, driveway cleaning, and that's it. You would go out, you'd quote the house wash, you'd quote the driveway cleaning. One of her sales hacks is she quotes everything that she can possibly clean on this property. And that really contributes to why her average ticket price is as high as it is because she's offering the customer every single service that she can offer. So the customer calls in, they're like, hey, I want a house wash and a roof wash quote. She's like, okay, great. Can I come out Tuesday and come take a look at it? They're like, yeah, that sounds good. She's like, okay, excellent. So step one, quote everything that can possibly be quoted. Next thing is, and this is probably where most of the gold is, she cleans a little bit of every surface that she can. So she goes out Tuesday to do the quote. She meets with the homeowner, shakes hand. Hey, walk me around the property. Show me what you, what you got going on. She asks questions. Okay, this is what we're going to do here. This is the process he's here. And then she goes, is it okay if I do a couple of test spots just to make sure that you know everything cleans up all right? The customer's like, yeah, absolutely. No problem. So she goes out, she cleans every surface that she can. She cleans a little bit of the house. She cleans a little bit of the roof. She cleans a little bit of the driveway, the gutter. Whatever she offers a service for, she cleans a little bit and then she takes a before and after picture. So after she's done walking the property, she takes all her pictures. She then has those as ammunition to send to the customer. And she sends all those to the customer to show them how well everything's gonna clean up as well as what the estimate is gonna be. Now, as you guys can imagine, this process is gonna be much more time consuming than receiving a quote, doing measurements and sending out um, the estimate. However, there's a lot of different things that she's doing within the selling process that are allowing her to close 
so many jobs at such a high average ticket. And the first of which is blowing the symmetry. Now I do want to preface before I get any deeper into her specific selling techniques. I did get a lot of these from my buddy Aaron. My buddy Aaron's taught me a ton with regards to selling. He's pretty much a selling mastermind with regards to selling high ticket. And I think the reason why she's done so well with what she's done is because she's implementing so many of these high ticket sales strategies. First one of which is blowing the symmetry. Now blowing the symmetry is essentially cleaning a little piece of something so that way it can't be unseen. The first time I heard this, Aaron gave me the example of cleaning windows. So basically what he would do is he would find where the family ate breakfast at that he was quoting the job for. And he'd say, hey, you know, where do y'all have breakfast at? And they'd be like, oh, this little breakfast nook right here. And he looked through the windows and he'd say, okay, there's a good window right there. And he said, is it okay if I just clean a little bit of this window right here? And he'd go in and he'd clean it and do the best job that he could. Because he knew every morning when they looked out of that window, they would have one clean piece of glass and everything else would be dirty and they would not be able to see anything else other than the difference between how clean it could be and how dirty it currently is. So that is what blowing the symmetry is. So by her doing that to every single surface that she can clean, she is now breaking in the customer's mind like, oh, it's not that dirty to that's how good it could be. Now, the second thing that she's doing is she's becoming the trusted advisor. Now, this is one of the benefits of quoting in person, especially quoting in person when you know what you're talking about. So she's walking the property with them. She's talking them through the procedures and the things that she's doing and what they can do here. And have you ever considered cleaning this? Or we don't use a lot of pressure on this because it could cause X, Y, Z issue. And she's furthering that by cleaning all the services that the customer might've been worried about, right? So the customer has now placed all of their trust and faith into this person who is doing the estimate because not only is she shown as she's walking around that she's very knowledgeable to everything that needs to be cleaned around the property, but she's also demonstrated that by blowing the symmetry, by cleaning all those little things and by showing that to the customer. So she's blowing the symmetry, she's become the trusted advisor. And then lastly, she's taken advantage of the law of reciprocity. So basically what this law states is, is when you do something for somebody, they are gonna feel inclined to do something for you as well. So by her going around the house and cleaning little bits of everything around the house, she's doing something for the customer and in return, the customer is gonna feel some kind of pressure in order to return that to her, to give her the job, right? So she's cleaned all this stuff up, Let's go ahead and give her the job. She's already broke out her equipment. She's set it up. She's cleaned things. So she's utilizing three different selling strategies, blowing the symmetry, trusted advisor, law of reciprocity. And if you guys are able to replicate this, not only are you going to be able to charge more for your service, not only are you going to be able to do more work at a customer's property, but you're going to close a lot more jobs as well. And all of these things compound in her favor to allow her to just totally crush everybody. And she gets a bunch of jobs and she makes a ton of money. And now the reason why I put is this illegal in the title you know, obviously you're asking for permission to clean something at somebody's property, but uh, she's cleaning multiple things and she's kind of taking advantage of the fact that she's being allowed to clean. And I've seen some of the test spots that she does and they are large test spots. If you guys want to try this out, let me know in the comment section how it works for you. If you made this far in the video, comment down below, Lady Boss, and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Check out Quota Q. Check out the Inner Circle. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.